Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Many a True Nerd, and this is Fallout 3 Kill Everything. And you join me as I'm investigating a mystery because uh, I noticed in my quest log Tenpenny Tower is still active, even though I've murdered the quest giver. So uh, I've been told to go kill uh, Roy Jenkins and his followers. So uh, I'm going to go investigate whether I can do that. The thing is, of course. Both solutions to this quest are already dead. Roy Phillips is dead, and the security chief at Tempity Towers is dead, so I don't know why this quest hasn't been automatically failed. Oh yeah, they're already aggroed. They're already annoyed. Yep, looks like I just need to deal with a few zombies then. Just one more to go. Although I don't know whether I can turn the quest in. I, I, I don't know where the game will tell me to go after I've killed this last one. On the plus side, experience points from murdering all the zombies. That's always good. And another zombie goes down. Report back to Chief Cast... How? Well, the game's telling me to go back to Tenpenny Tower. So, alright. <laughs> I'll give it a go. I'll see what's going on. Is it possible I missed Chief Gustavo? I might have missed him. If so, I'm glad I came, because yeah, it means I left someone alive by mistake, and now I can fix that. Someone alive. It's the place to live, the only place one finds any modicum of civilization and breeding. Ooh, just leveled up from cracking a safe, excellent. I'm just gonna put lock pick up, I wanna get lock pick up to uh, a good level pretty quickly. I'm gonna take Iron Fist, because I enjoy using some of the unarmed skills, so why not? I don't actually have much else I really want to take. Well, as for Mr. Wealth and Refinement over here, I I can only think of one one fair way to deal with him. That's right, you just sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down and enjoy your money cannon. There we go. The money cannon worked. Tell Roy Phillips the ghouls can move in. He's really dead. He's so dead. We are safe from the wasteland in here. Sure you are. I'm out of here. Oh no. Your hopes of safety have gone to pot. Pot. What the? What the heck? Ah. Now if this quest mark, yeah. Okay. For whatever reason, this quest is just bugged because uh, the tell Roy Phillips about uh, that he can move in is uh, pointing at this fountain, which is where he died. I know for a fact that's where he died. So, uh, yeah, the game's just being a bit weird. Oh, well. Well, at the very least, I now know that uh, Tampany Power is definitely cleared out and I uh, have dealt with the person I apparently missed. So, you know, that's good. Super Mutant Master might normally be a problem, but uh, Dark Gun. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, Dark Gun is the most amazingly overpowered weapon in this game. A single hit, uh, both legs, uh, the limbs crippled. So meaning, uh, basically, if they are any melee enemy in the game, they're useless because you can now run faster than them. Yep. Sorry, Super Mutant Master. Not sure this will fit, but let's see. Nope. <laughs> Oh, nice. Ah, yes. The Brotherhood. Am I just... I'm, gonna, I'm just going to nip up to the Citadel purely because pretty much my mission in life is to attack the Brotherhood literally every time I can feasibly meet them purely for the sake of making the game increasingly incomprehensible because for some reason they will choose to work with me anyway later. Well, this is as good a time as any for my pulse mines. Okay, there's some pulse mines on the ground. And some normal mines for you. And for you. Just back off and make everyone run into their mines. Oh god damn it, more invincible people. Oh, what the... <laughs> what? Oh, what? 
Paladin Bell's going crazy. That's fine. Oh god damn it, he's just he can't be killed either. Well he can die at least. I think I've killed all of them that can be killed. There's too many here that are just there's like there's multiple knights there who are uh, unconscious only. Yeah, Baal is immortal. A few people are immortal. There's quite a few knights there, but I did kill their sentry bots. That's nice. Oh, oh, nice, nice execution there. Lovely. That's right. Come on around. Come on around. Have a quick look at what they were guarding. Yes, more gore bags. Oh, I've got so many mutilated legs. I want some more stuff. I want more mutilated skulls, to be honest. Super mutants have bound a captive for transportation. The ropes are digging into her wrist, suffered from their abuse. Let's untie her. Here, take these supplies. It's all I have, but they'll only slow me down. No, you need those more than I do, random woman. You're right. It's dangerous out here. Lol, joking. Poor suffering beggar. It's okay, ma'am. I can spare some change for you. He figuratively exploded with gratitude. Wait, no, that was... Oh, damn it, that actually would have worked as literally. Okay, here's something I've always wondered about. What happens if you declare war on Rivet City before they extend the bridge? Okay, you can aggro him. And once he's aggroed... Welcome to Rivet City. Please wait while the bridge extends. Wow. Yep. Even if you declare war in Rivet City, they'll still extend the bridge for you. Excellent. But you know what? I, I actually don't want to do that. I actually don't want to do that. I actually want to be friends. To friends with Rivet City. This old boat, this could be a new start for Evil John. This could be a fantastic new home for Evil John. State your business in Rivet City. New life. New life. Definitely not murder. Stay away from me. What do you want? Are you one of them? Probably. Escape slaves, eh? No. Please don't tell sister. I think he's a slaver. I am at your mercy. Oh, that's a terrible place to be. That's a terrible place to be. Sister! Ah, oh, fellow slaver. Brother from another mother. All that jazz. Do you know that Mei Wong's a runaway slave? Never look a gift slave in the mouth, I say. Finally. And let's just increase lockpick and uh, small guns. And I'll just take a single round of thief in order to uh, get lockpick up to 100. Now, the reason I wanted to do that is because I actually do want to complete the replicated man. Uh, not because, you know, I've got any particular level of sympathy for androids or anything. Mainly just because I want the plasma rifle. It will be useful for killing things. So, now we can just crack our way in to the other side of the ship, which is great. So just make it through the booby trap tower and you get to uh, Pinkerton's lab. And before you speak to him, steal all his stuff. He's got a big book of science. And a Dean's electronics. And a stealth boy. He also, interestingly, if you've got the schematics for it, has literally everything you need to make a shish kebab. So if you want to make a good quality shish kebab, you can. Because look, there's a lawnmower blade. Pilot light. Motorcycle handbrake and motorcycle gas tank. And those are, those are the four components. So... Uh, yeah, you can uh, you can actually make a shish kebab here. Once you've done as much looting as you want, have a chat with Pinkerton. Let's discuss the android. And uh, you actually need to bribe him, just confront him. Fine, whatever. This android calls himself Harkness now. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. And you haven't killed me. So I suppose you aren't here to do that. Uh, about that. Oh, Pinkerton's another immortal. He's another immortal. Oh yeah, Pinkerton's an immortal. All right, let's get the stuff and get out. And let's have a quick chat with Harkness. Give him the code and he'll remember he's an android. And also give the worst bit of voice acting in the entire game. This is this is the voice acting they decided to assign to the anguish of remembering he was an enslaved android for years. And his entire life is a lie. Ah! Uh. 
My God. I I remember. <laughs> I remember it all from before. Oh, uh, dear. The then just say, uh, ask him what he's going to do about Zimmer. And then you can say, uh, you'd rather kill him yourself. All right. I authorize you to carry out Dr. Zimmer's execution. Yay. Don't think this gives you license to run around shooting anyone you want. Just Zimmer. Oh, 300 experience points, but most importantly, the pl unique plasma rifle. Charmed to meet you. I'm Vera Weatherly of the Weatherly Hotel. Hi, I'm Evil John, and I sold your nephew into slavery. Head to the lab, grab the intelligence bobblehead, but obviously, really, I, I could have got right at the beginning of the game, but I didn't want to rush ahead. So now we head to the lab, you there. and we speak to you? Zimmer. Because you can easily get both rewards from Zimmer and from Harkness. And then make sure you do specifically ask him about payment. And then tell him, sure, you're looking to find the android. Now speak to Zimmer again. And then just tell him, it's Harkness. And now you have, uh, thanks to the perk he gives you, you've got a high chance to hit in vats, which is lovely. Just blow his head straight off. And ditto, his assistant. I don't know how you managed to survive that first shot, uh, Zimmer, but not again. Fun fact, in both Zimmer's inventory and his bodyguards, there are android components. So, I don't know, I I always like to think both of these guys might actually be robots, that everyone in the Commonwealth might effectively be a robot. Just a pet theory of mine. That's oh, another person I want to help. Angela Staley. You mean, like, hitting on me? No. Most of them are polite. Even the ones like Diego that I'd want to flirt with seem to ignore me. So you can ask Angela if her and Diego are in love? Well, one of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. And, uh, yeah. The default is, unfortunately, you can't force a man's attention. The second option is, actually, I've got drugs. Um, yeah, this, this quest is slightly creepy because, uh, if you reverse the gender in this where a male character asked for drugs to help, uh, to help seduce the female character, the whole thing becomes very, very creepy. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I've got some Anne Queen pheromones that might do the trick that I picked up during the quest. Those. I just know I can seduce Diego with this. Then he'll have to marry me. <laughs> we'll be so happy. Excellent. <laughs> kind of creepy. Now just give it a wait for 24 hours. Mooning over him? Not anymore. She's gonna marry him. I am so happy for my little girl. So, you learned from Gary that uh, Angela's, quite frankly, terrifying plan involving drugs appears to have worked, and uh, they're getting married. So, uh, when are they getting married? Want a good seat? Get to the church before three tomorrow. Three o'clock tomorrow, eh? Ah, uh, here they are. Hello, Angela. Yes, ma'am. Did the Anne pheromones work, Angela? Which you're going to say in front of Diego? Oh my god. It was so romantic. Diego has left the church. We're going to get married. What's your version of this event, Diego? I don't know what came over me. I just lost control and seduced her. But I am an honorable man. I will make her an honorable woman. We're going to get married. I thought I would be more upset about leaving the church. But she makes me so happy. Yeah, well, I've killed the only ant queen in the wasteland. So, uh, yeah, that happiness has got a time limit. As I'm recording this on Valentine's Day, I think we're going to hang around and I think we are going to attend this wedding service. Oh, here comes everyone. Oh, happy day. Oh, the happy father, father of the bride. There's Tammy. Even the children are coming along. Vera's here. Oh, Seagrave Holmes. Cindy's brought a knife. Everyone. Angela's brought a, Angela's brought a knife to her own wedding. Oh, to cut the wedding cake, of course. What God has joined, let no man tear asunder. I love you, Diego. I love you too, Angela. Oh, no. Mario! Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Oh, no. You shouldn't have run that way. Love the new plasma rifle, though. Uh, Where? Oi! Oh, Tad. Oh, Tad. I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, Gaza could actually be killed! 
I'm surprised. I was expecting the game to be holding on to him, ready for uh, ready for later. I found this poor patient in the uh, the River City Infirmary. Uh, the doctor is now slightly uh, out of commission, so uh, I'm going to need to operate immediately. Organ transplant. Urgently. Possibly the most urgent organ transplant of all time. I'm going to be honest, that made things worse rather than better. Now, which one is my organ? I need to... I need to find my organ. In, oh, mutated organs, yay! Oh, a few people in the market aren't best pleased by this whole situation. Oh, what the... What on earth just happened? Oh, there's Flack. Oh, we've got something much better than death for you. Hello, Flack. Whoa, is it me or is the world spinning? And I'm just going to put this collar on you. Just hold still, Flacky. Sure. What's this thing for anyway? Ha ha ha, you're a slave now. I'm a slave? Where's this Paradise Falls? This collar will explode, won't it? I've heard about these things. You sound so calm about this whole situation. Off you go, Flack. And time to clear up the tower too. Yeah, not only that, I'm going to steal from the fridge. And I'm probably going to drink from the carton. There we go. Good grenade. Good grenade. Any trouble in this area? Nope. Everything seems fine. Why don't you just walk over there? Okay, asshole. Your move. Oh, 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 oh. He's going to go for it. He's going for it. Oh, level up from that. Marvellous. I'm going to get my repair up, actually, because I want to be able to get my equipment higher than it actually is at the moment. So I'm going to do that. I'm always going to put my energy weapons up a little bit because I enjoy energy weapons. They're fun. Cannibal, eh? All right. Oh. That noise. Oh, that noise. Sleeping child. Teddy bear. Yeah, I love that. Oh, can't I? Yeah, I think I can, actually. There's Angela. We didn't kill her. We left her be. We left her be. She's had a big day. She has had a big day. Her dad's dead. Her husband died. His final words, I love you at the end of a marriage ceremony. Oh, Angela, you've had a bad time. and I'm afraid to say it's not over yet. Because I've got some mines left over from the wedding. There we go. Now, just one quick, uh, one quick dart should wake her up. Oh dear. Angela, as it's Valentine's Day, would you be mine? There's only one more thing to do, really. And that is to leave Angela's head on top of the Diego goo pile. I think this is what she would have wanted, working under the assumption that she had no choice in the whole blown up thing. I'm just gonna leave her dad here as well, cause it was important that he was here for her on this big day. I mean, he's still here, he's just kind of scattered. Now in many ways he's more here, cause he's now on all sides of her. Okay, other than the immortals, that is everyone in Rivet City dealt with. So, in that case, it only leaves the science lab. Anna Holt, are you immortal? No, definitely not. Oh, Janice. Janice is immortal. Anna wasn't, but Janice is. Wait for her to get up. Wait for her to get up. Wait for her to get up. Up. Oh, <laughs> I'm assuming Dr. Lee's immortal, but let's just check. Oh, not only is she immortal, she's flipping tough. Oh, she goes down. But yeah, she's definitely unconscious. She's unconscious and she has a lot of... Yeah, she has an awful lot of health. Wow, she is chillaxed. Let's try mezzing her. I want to see if we can mez her. Ooh, mez is an instant unconscious. 
Sadly, she'll likely be getting up again. Ooh, she's actually trying to fight me. I managed to aggro Dr. Lee. Oh, no, she's decided against it. She's definitely decided against that. Dr. Lee. All right, let's just have a chat with you. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. To stop I... shooting me in the face. Fine. It's in the old Jefferson Memorial. And there we are. That's Dr. Lee. There we are. That's Rivet City is cleared out as I can clear it out for the time being. But we'll, we'll come back and we'll put some more bullets in Dr. Lee just to see if she's changed her mind. And now, back to home sweet home. How the hell'd you get old Queen Flack into that collar? And you know what, I'm not sure this is the longest part so far, so I'm going to go for one more thing. I'm going to go and I'm going to complete the Strictly Business quest. So, uh, and that is going to take me over into Big Town. Here we go. Big Town. Hey, who are you? Eh, fires, killing people, yeah, that sounds about right. A funny guy, huh? Um, one, not one guy, alone, two, not kidding. So, Red's been captured by the Super Mutants. That's fine, and we can go and deal with that. Just, uh, not right now. You sure that's a good idea? I think it's a great idea. That's right. Oh, no. All right, Pappy, me and you. You need a draw? Yeah, that's right. Back away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like this... This character understands me and what I represent. Oh, yeah. That's right. Just run out of the town. Run out of the town. Oh, God. Another poor injured soul. Medical brace. That's good. That sounds like a positive thing. We got any crutches around here? I just need as many medical supplies as I can find. Medical brace. All right. We're going to use the medical brace. What the hell? I just distinctly heard him say, what the hell? He's definite. That was a response. That actually worked. Okay, forceps. We're going to use the forceps. May not have worked as well. On the plus side, we do always need donors for more organs. There we go. Now the next person that gets sick, we will have a really good supply of fresh organs to hand. You stay around for a bit, Buttercup, because unfortunately, if Buttercup dies, uh, Red automatically dies, which is interesting. So, uh, I'm just going to go and take care of Red quickly, and then we'll come back for Buttercup. Ah, Red. Lucky. Average door, nice and easy. Well, I'm glad you're alive. Because if people weren't alive, there'd be no one for me to kill. Well, except maybe for Shorty. They dragged him off downstairs to the kitchen a while ago. But no one comes back from the kitchen. The kitchen, eh? You wait here. Let's go get Red and get out of here. You lead, I'll follow. Ooh, new skulls. Gotta test out my new skulls. What do you think you're doing? Wow. This guy's tough. Gnomes will do the job, though. Mmm, I see why they took him to the kitchen. He has got a really nice flavour. Skull. 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 Where's the skull I just fired? Bounce off and go over here. There it is. Yay. Okay, Red. I've got some bad news. Hope you know what you're doing. Oh, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to be honest. I did have some ulterior motives with freeing you. Ooh. Can we just take your... Can we just have her clothes? Yeah, I'll have that. Excellent. Yeah, uh, put the collar on. Okay, hey, hey, this thing feels weird. Can I take it off now? Paradise falls or you're exploding. And that should be the end of Strictly Business. Yay, Red's turned in. Good, good. They're dead, aren't they? I tried to rescue your friends, but there were some complications. Well, I guess you tried. On behalf of Big Town, take this. Oh, wow, I get a reward anyway? 200 bottle caps. Oh, I still failed the quest, though. Look, I've got I've got something to say sorry for the fact that I failed Bitter Cup. So, I'd like, I'd like you to have this. I'd like you to have these teddy bears. Oh, well. So, there you are, ladies and gentlemen. That is Big Town completely cleared out. 
and uh, Big Trouble in Big Town completely failed. Never mind. Ooh. Good old Flash, just uh, he'll keep floating there forever. Lovely. Next time on Fallout 3 Kill Everything, I will crack on with the main story a little bit. Whee! We will crack on with the main story. We'll try and uh, we'll go out to the Jefferson Memorial, follow our dad there and uh, clear out the super mutants. And then we will head on our way and do a little more in that regard. But uh, yeah, I, mean, that's, uh, I don't know how long this is going to be when it's all lifted down, but uh, I think that's been good. I enjoy clearing out Rivet City. Good to know that Rivet City's cleared out, and good to know that Big Town's cleared out. So, you know, we're wiping out civilization one place at a time. So, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching, I hope you enjoyed listening. I've been John, this has been Mania True Nerd, and this has been Fallout 3 Kill Everything. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This is the James Bond Instagram account. He puts everything with a slightly pretentious blue filter. For the last cocking time, secret agents! Oh, I'm feeling bad for the hostages. How is this going to not go wrong? It's gone wrong. It's fine. Bond, I'm going to be honest. You've come overdressed. This is this is clearly not a bow tie and dinner jacket kind of place.